Howdy folks, welcome back to Ominous Glow Games. If you like video content like this, please like and subscribe. It does matter. Anyhow, in today's video, I would like to discuss some must-haves, in my opinion, for DMs. The first book we're going to go over is The Tome of Adventure Design by Matt Finch. This book is amazing. And it'll help you to create your own adventures, streamline them, and create some very unique adventures, encounters, and whatnot. And the beauty about this book is you don't have to go cover to cover. You can cherry pick what you use and what you don't use. Another good thing about this newer edition, because you see that this is revised, is when you're looking in here, let's see here, let me get to one of these pages, you'll see on the sides of the pages, get this up here where you can see, there are a whole bunch of different prompts. So as you're reading through here, trying to get an idea of what you want to run, um, just see something that just speaks to you. Like, oh, circle of gemstones. Hmm. Ooh, yeah. Maybe during a full moon, there's a specific fairy ring that turns into a circle of gemstones, but it's only during moonlight. And if they're removed, you know, you earn some gemstones. Um, and then, you know, when the moonlight, full moon disappears, they turn back into mushrooms. But if you take them, you know, out of the forest, they still hold their gem value. This could be an awesome adventure idea. You know, it could be... You know, a madman comes in there half drunk because he went out in the forest to, you know, relieve himself. And he got lost and kind of wandered through the forest and came across the circle of gemstones. And he took a couple of them, stuck them in his pocket, passed out, woke up in the morning in this ring of mushrooms. You know, goes back to the town, find, eventually finds his way, thinking he was just drunk, dreaming stuff, and then he reaches down in his pocket, pulls out some gemstones. Ooh, he's rich. And word starts spreading of his tell, this unique tell of this fairy circle out there in the forest somewhere that during the full moon, gemstones. All right, see, there you go. Tome of Adventure Design. And that's not even using all the cool tables that are in here, dude. Yeah. Totally. Um, yeah, let's, let's look at uh, some other things here. Um, oh, yeah, there's like um, area names involving tombs like uh, the Defiled Catacombs. Um, the Angelic Cabinet. You know, but there's different rooms, uh, adventure locations, items, monsters, everything you need to create an adventure, you can use this book to do. If you're pinched for time, oh man, you know, I got a game tomorrow, and I only got tonight to prep for it. I have no idea what to do. If you got this book, you're saved, buddy. Read through the book. Grab something, you know, like I did, you know, just look at these prompts and then start, you know, looking at some of these charts. Uh, characteristics of Fae magic items. Ooh, here we go. Well, we were talking about Fae. Hmm. Maybe there's something to that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, summoning animals. Alleys of its cunning. Uh, nah, let's see here. Let's, let's look at something cool here. Uh, they got like draconic, you know, Features like yeah, you're making a dra uh, a dragon, you know, that's out there in that forest. Maybe it's protecting the fae and that and that that circle of gemstones that are out there, and its body is chameleon-like. Ch 
coloring allows it to blend it into surrounding. That's why no one knows that there's a dragon out there. See what I'm saying? Dude, this thing's full of ideas. Full of cool stuff. All right. Furniture. Huh. Let's see here. Um, oh, yeah. I'm just reading here. Couch has spikes. Let's turn that into something else. Maybe the forest out there. You know, we're talking about fairies and whatnot. Maybe there's a small throne of spikes. Yeah, there you go. Why, why is there spikes on the throne? I don't know. That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Let the players figure that out. Uh, and you know, you just start taking weird ideas like that and you just start, you know, throwing them down on paper. See what kind of jives the brain into creating a cool adventure. You got something unique. Yeah. So, if you don't have one yet, I highly recommend you pick up yourself a copy of this book. Amazing book. It's worth your worth its weight in gold. And this is a heavy book, by the way. So, anyhow, if you don't have one, get one. Anyhow, um, do you have the Tome of Adventure design? Have you used it? What kind of cool things have you found in here? Or what adventures have you made from it that are cool? Share, you know, share in the comments. Tell us your ideas, what you like about it, you know, what cool things you develop, and more importantly, like and subscribe this video for more content like this. Anyhow, happy gaming. We'll talk to you later.